Welcome to the Coffs Coast, New South Wales, for day three of what has been an epic Rally Australia. The competition on the first two days has been fierce. Two totally different legs that have turned the 2011 title race on its head. We have a thrilling final day in prospect. The outcome of this Antipodean adventure will be decided on the power stage. Championship bonus points are up for grabs, vital for the day one victims. Nico Hirvonen is our featured driver and just one day away from clawing himself back into title contention. We'll follow his every move. There are still 99 kilometers of blisteringly quick outback stages to run here in Australia. We'll bring you every single twist in the tail. When it rains here in New South Wales, it rains hard. If World Rally is a battle with the elements on the first day here in Australia, the elements won. Torrential rain transforming the dry bush stages into a quagmire. 50. Ah. Ken Block clattered a gum tree. And he wasn't the only one to go walk about. Thankfully, all escaped unharmed. But the biggest shock was the sight of world champion Sebastian Loeb rolling his DS3 out of contention. <laughs> His closest title contender, Sebastian Auger, then crashed into a tree, crushing his radiator and any hopes of drawing level in the title race. Peter Solberg had his scrapes, but escaped unscathed in third. But it was Ford's, Finns, Latvala and Hirvonen that shook off the rain and came out the other side smiling. With the two Citroens of Loeb and Auger out of the fight, Nico has a fantastic opportunity to get back into title contention his last chance. If day one was total devastation, then day two was the opposite. There were still further mishaps in the morning. But up ahead, Yari Mati Latvala eased in front of Miko into the lead, both of them holding off the challenge of Peter Solberg in third. At the end of the day, Yari Mati leads with Miko in second and a better road position for this final leg. Well, main thing is to get better, better behind and, and uh... It would be very important for the team to get first and second place, so just get better behind first and then we'll see if, if, if there's time or gap enough that we can play a little bit, then we'll see if, if it's possible, but uh, need to finish the day anyway. The Coffs Coast roads are far from done. Six stages remain, 99 kilometres of slippery mud and gravel roads, including the longest stage of the rally so far, the delicious 30-kilometre plum pudding. But it all ends with the power stage. For the first time this year, Yari Mati Latvala leads the WRC boys into the final day, followed by his teammate, Mikko Hirvonen. Petter Solberg lines up third in his Citroen DS3 after a weekend played with setup issues. What a weekend for Matthew Wilson, though. He goes fourth ahead of Khaled Al Kasimi and Evgeny Novikov in sixth. The two recovering Citroens of Sebastian Auger and Loeb go seventh and eighth today. We can expect a charge from them, with Henning Solberg, Peter van Merkstein, and Ken Block rounding out the starting 11. So, here we go then. It may well be the end of winter in Australia, but the sun has been shining on the Ford boys this weekend. Yari Mati Latvala blasts his Ford Fiesta into this final day. The Finn is charged with road sweeping this morning, and the 14.8 kilometers of this Booker stage is the fastest of the day. Yari still chasing his first win this year, but remember, we could see team orders enforced gifting the win and maximum points to this man, Mikko Hivenen. He is Ford's championship challenger and needs anything he can to close the gap on Loeb and OJ in the fight for the title. This really is a stage that sorts the men from the boys. As Miko comes towards the end, keep an eye on the clock. And that's a good start to the day. Closing the gap, now just 17.3 seconds behind his teammate. Morning, Miko. That's 5.4 quicker than Yari Mati. Nice clean run. Yeah, that's a scary stage. Bloody hell, it's so bloody fast. But it's, it was okay anyway, good time there, but 
not so enjoyable. Petter Solberg, just behind Mirko, has been hampered with setup problems all weekend. Uh, that DS3 certainly looks sorted this morning. Petter and co-driver Chris Patterson doing all they can to keep the pressure on the Fords ahead of them. As we've seen all year from Matthew Wilson, consistency has been his strength and he's playing to that this weekend, capitalising on the mistakes of others and on course for a fantastic fourth place. And what a whirlwind weekend it's been for Kiwi and PWRC competitor Hayden Padden, sixth overall and on course to take the production car championship. It's been a fantastic performance from Hayden. Meanwhile, up ahead, there's confirmation of Mikko closing in on his teammate and rally leader, Yari Matti Lapala. On board now with Evgeny Novikov. The Russian has been making mistakes all year. And that is another one. That is a huge accident. Let's take another look. An incredibly violent offer of Genny, and he is going no further. That is a crumpled Fiesta blocking the stage. Here comes Sebastian Loeb arriving at the scene of the accident. There is the car blocking the stage. And sportingly, Sebastian actually stops to make sure Evgeny and Denny are both OK. Well, scenes of devastation down on the stage, but both Novikov and Girade are unharmed. Uh, I was a mistake in the pace note. Uh, the corner was tightened a little bit uh, at the end and it was flat in the pace note, but it was not flat, so we came too wide, so the car came on two wheels and then we started to, to roll. Disaster for Novikov, but all of that plays into the hands of the recovering Henning Solberg. But he's gone off the road as well. What is going on this morning? From the onboard view, we can see Henning just carries way too much speed into that right-hander. And that is more vital time lost for the Norwegian. But thankfully, Marshall's on hand to get Henning and Ilka back on their way. After all that, Latvala remains in the lead ahead of Mikko, but can Hirvonen catch and pass his teammates, or will it be Team Tactics that awards him the win? What a morning of car-crushing action, and there are plans afoot in Australia. What are Ford going to do? Join us after the break to find out. Welcome back to Coffs Coast, New South Wales. The Ford Fiestas running 911 stickers today to mark the 10 year anniversary of the New York tragedy. Yari Matti Latvala, our rally leader, driving one of those Ford Fiestas. Coming to the end of the stage now, and so far, no sign of team orders. <laughs> Well, no, I take that back. Yari is definitely slowing at the end of this stage, supporting the team and his teammates, and he will drop to second behind Miko. Yeah, Matty, we were listening to you. We got the feeling maybe you just slowed down or stopped before the yellow boards, is that right? Yes, I, I stopped before the yellow board. So we have decided in the team that uh, as Mikko has better chances in the Drivers' Championship, so he can win the rally and uh, I need to support him. So Mikko will be our new rally leader. 
and he'll know that Yari has slowed down at the end of the stage, meaning he is now on course for 25 championship points. His teammate paying the ultimate sacrifice. I lost the title by one point, so I know every point, but we can get it really counts. Well, we were expecting Sebastian Auger into the stage, but instead it's his teammate Sebastian Loeb. Where is Auger? Well, we've picked him up now, but that Citroen is not running at full rally speed. He did check into the stage late, incurring a five-minute penalty, perhaps a mechanical problem with his DS3, but either way, that's going to play into the hands of his teammate for the final points position. In the meantime, this is Hayden Padden, undoubtedly the biggest rally of his life on his way to sixth place overall and the Production World Rally Championship. Well, that's Auger going again, but he stopped for a further 10 minutes in the stage. Sebastian, late into the stage, you stopped for 10 minutes or so. What's going on? Uh, I received a team order and I respect it. Where, when did you receive that team order? At what point? During the service break or some point this afternoon? I have no comment about that. I receive it. That's it. Well, perhaps the ultimate team sacrifice. Latvala yields to Hirvonen while OJ waited in the stage for 10 minutes just to hand 10th place and the final point scoring position to Sebastian Loeb for his championship campaign. And so, on to the power stage. Extra points up for grabs for the top three fastest through the Clarence Test. 4.58 kilometers of fast, sandy roads running along the outskirts of the forest, taking in long straights, tight hairpins with two water splashes thrown in for good measure. This is damage limitation for Citroen. They'll be looking for maximum points as we cross to Paul King and Julian Porter in the commentary box. Yes, this is going to be an absolutely flat-out attack from Sebastian Loeb. We don't see accidents. Yeah, we don't see accidents from Loeb very often. I think I counted only five times in his entire career has an accident led to a retirement in his rally. It's a career that's lasted, what, 11, 12 years. It's quite some record. But that crash on Friday has opened a window for Mikko Hirvonen. And... Well, These points are crucial. I spoke to Loeb yesterday and I said, did he kind of feel like he wanted to fly home yesterday morning? And he goes, I made the mistake. He said, I've got to come back and try and score points for, Cit uh, for Citroen and the manufacturer. But also, he was thinking all of it yesterday. About things for well, One and there a half we go. Up. One and a half up on the fastest time so far, set by Ken Block. As expected, Loeb is on a charge. There you go, 221.4, the time Loeb needs to beat to get into the top point scoring place and put him in a provisional chance to get three World Championship points. Let's see what he can do. Oh, almost got some 18 rest. 18 1. That is a good four seconds. Five Thanks, seconds were quicker almost than his uh, time he set this morning. Loeb was quickest through here this morning. That will take some beating, I tell you, that really will. So decision time for Solberg, will we see the reserve petter or will we see all-out attack petter? He's on it. <laughs> yeah. It's listening right yeah. over to the left-hand side. That was obviously premeditated to stay to that side. Maybe that's where it's less deep. Keep the left wheels on the uh, out of the water. 218.1, that's the time to beat. Five seconds uh, slower than that will still get him into the uh, top three positions. I think he'll go in the top three without a, without oh, yeah. a worry. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it's whereabouts. <laughs> oh, how casual are we? What would you expect anything less from Monsieur? No, Lowe? not from Monsieur. Lowe. No. <laughs> the coolest man in rallying. Yeah. Oh, really. And Petter, possibly the most. Oh, 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 Let's see what Mr. on that long straight now. Point nine down. Not much in it. No, nope, not a lot in it. He does often finish these power stages strongly as well. It's that last corner where he's got to get the front end in and get the grip, and not run wide. That that could get, keep him it. Let's see what Pedder can do. I think we've answered the question of he's going for it, especially after he's received that spit. Oh, Giving him a further incentive to keep attacking. Still lots of rocks and rubber being thrown around. Lots of loose stuff out there. Seb and Daniel watching on nervously. Last corner coming up. Petter's foot hard on the floor. Dips down into that compression. What can he do? 90 but four, it's not enough. But no. Petter does move into second. Nod of the head from Seb and Daniel. Next in, our new rally leader. 
And remember, Mikko Hirvonen is a triple power stage winner. He has terrific form on these end of rally power stages. Take he's already on course. Take... Of, but look at the bumper. He, 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 he's pushing. He's pushing. Malcolm Wilson, he'd be sitting there thinking, oh my word. We have already seen how this stage can catch out the unwary. And Mikko, if he's on the attack here, he's got 25 points on the table. Does he want another three to further eat into Sebastian? Well, he, he does want them. It's how much he wants them. Yeah. Just three rounds to go in this World Championship. It was looking like Loeb was pulling out an unassailable lead, but suddenly that's been turned on its head in Australia. Loeb doesn't give, give gifts very often, and you've got to take every single opportunity. And Mikko, it's not lost on him, that isn't. 218.1, the time to beat. Petter Solberg second, 1.3. Let's see what Mikko can do. Permanent on his way down here. This is the corner we've got heading out. This is the, probably the trickiest one. He's okay. Yep, he's okay. So Hervin on his way now. Come on. What's going to happen? Just coming out. 1.4 down. Loeb's face. A little sigh of relief now. Yeah, he's a little bit ragged at times, isn't he? I mean, he is pushing. And sometimes you push too hard. Well, you could overdrive, but I mean. I, I, maybe, to be fair, it's all the OG. You've seen the OG at the back off. It is seen obviously that Math, Matthew and Callie didn't go flat out. So he still probably can get on this podium even without a 100% drive. There from Nico. Keep it together. This is the last corner. Yeah. Neat and tidy. Yeah, he's safe. Here we are on board with Nico and Yama Leighton at the time to beat. 218.1. Loeb's a little bit nervous. Herman, obviously, he's going to win this rally. He's, on, he's just got the straight to go. He's going to win the rally. Who's going to win the power stage? Here we go. Flying finish. I think he's slow. Yeah, he should yeah, be. 19.7. He's slower than better. Well, Loeb will be reasonably happy, but there is still one more man to come, and this will be interesting. Does Yanni Matti Latvala push on for power stage points, or will he make a further sacrifice to help his teammate? For Latvala, he's just got to get through here. It's huge pressure. And the, the relief, we, we, Ford haven't yet committed uh, for next year. And this is just the biggest, biggest bonus that they could have had. Get these cars through, first and second, close the cap up in the championship. It just makes things a whole lot, lot more easier. Yeah. And one last look from above at this breathtaking power stage in Australia. I think he's got three points. Yeah. I think Loeb has got three points on the win. Uh, yeah, 1.2 1 1 down. It's still that's still quicker than Herman, and no, that's still quicker than Herman at the split. So uh, I, 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 let's see. We're on the long straight. We're near the end. We've just got a couple of corners still to go. It's getting a bit wide there, but it's uh, been a controlled drive so far from Yari Matti. The first rough win I think last year. Yeah, a long, long time ago. Yari, of course, he, well, he certainly had the chance to win this event, but he uh, was pulled back by his team. Yari still hasn't won a rally for over a year as well. He still hasn't won a last year. Yeah, he still hasn't won a power stage either. I don't think he's going to do that here. I'm surprised how fast he's still going. <laughs> I really am. To 18.1. That'll win I... the power stage. A 90. He's beaten Herman, and what's he doing? Wow. Latvala, he wants as many points as he can get as well. By that. There you go, there's the handshake. Well, and it is now, I guess, between these two, and it is once again game on in the 2011 World Rally Championship. Well, here's confirmation then of the power stage results. Sebastian Loeb gets an extra three consolation points. Yari Matti, he gets two points for that second place finisher. Petter Solberg, once again, he's in the power stage points for the single point for finishing third. It's uh, better than nothing, for sure, but uh, I cannot be very happy after a rally like this. It has been very bad for, for our team, for me, for my teammates, and uh, so to finish like that is for sure better than nothing. So, Mikko Hirvonen takes the win with Yari Matti Latvala bringing home Ford's first one-two since Italy 2009. Matthew Wilson equals his best ever finish for fourth, with Khaled Al Kasimi taking his career best in fifth. But on top, it's Mikko Hirvonen. Uh, Mikko, this is your first win in Sweden. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, I am. I am. And, and uh, I really have to thank the team for this. I mean, 
it meant a lot for the team to get first and second place on this on this rally and uh, it's been a tough season I have to thank Yari Matti as well like you know we agreed in the start of the season we're going to be equal as long as we both have a chance for the title but his season hasn't been so good so now he helped me to get maximum points so uh, you know it's been a fantastic weekend for everybody. Sebastian Loeb has salvaged what looked like a weekend to forget. Join us after the break for all the celebrations when the drivers return to service. Welcome back to the service park at the Coffs Coast Airport. Sportingly, both Fiestas of Hevenen and Latvala arrive side by side, but it's Miko who returns victorious. Well-deserved congratulations to him and the rest of the Ford team. Miko, Rally Australia, winner for the third time. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy, but more just for the team. I, mean, I don't think myself as a rally winner because you know we know how it went in the end, and it was just already after Friday when we suddenly noticed that both of the Citroëns were out. We knew what we needed to do: just keep better far behind and uh, and uh, you know just control the situation. So thanks for your remote as well to really being a big help in this rally and uh, you know letting me taking the points. Yeah, it's just 15 points now between you and Sebastian. Um, how's it feeling, this shift in, in momentum towards, towards, the f towards you? Well, we really needed this. Uh, I think the whole championship needed this. And, uh, you know, it's been a, we only won one rally this season. We've been close many times, but been, been un unlucky in a few rallies as well. So, you know, it feels really good to get all these points and get back in the fight. But then again, for sure now, we really need to fight and work hard. On, on those tarmac rallies to get more speed over there, so, uh, you know, but we're ready for it, so hopefully we can fight in, in France. Yeah, you might see it second in Australia, but you were the fastest here. How does that feel? It gives me confidence anyway, <laughs> to being fastest, that feels good. Of course, I had a big bash in the wind this rally, and um, at, the, at the end I, I slowed down for Mikko. Um, okay, never, it's, it's not a good moment, but you need to see the bigger picture, and um, Mikko has better chances in the Drivers' Championship, so I have said earlier this year that when I, uh, my chances went down in, in Greece, that I, now I need to support Mikko, and now, now was the time. The Championship's back on. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's been a terrific result for the team. I mean, after the difficult season we've had, and then to come here and uh, win so convincingly, and not only that, but a 1-2, then it's, it's just a great, uh, great effort by everybody in the team. What do you think are the key moments in this rally? Oh, there's no question the key moments were, were day one. I mean, uh, obviously treacherous conditions and the two Sebastians got caught out. Um, but our guys, you know, they did a terrific job and then basically, but I have to say that, uh, you know, after day one, all we could do was really throw it away. So uh, to go for two days with the amount of with the pressure that we've had and to come away with a result like this is just, it's fantastic for the team. Well, what a difference a day makes. Mikko Hirvonen right back in this championship fight now. The Finn moves up to second place ahead of Sebastian Ogier, and more importantly, just 15 points behind Sebastian Loeb. In the Manufacturers' Championship standings, the Ford Abu Dhabi team has dented Citroen's lead, but the French company continued to hold a commanding advantage over the Ford boys, 62 points the gap. The Abu Dhabi Spirit of the Rally has been awarded to the new 2011 PWRC champion Hayden Padden. Oh, it's uh, it's amazing. It's been a it's been a long weekend. Like uh, today, we've been counting down the stages to get here. Like um, to have a world title now is uh, unbelievable. Like it, it certainly hasn't sunk in, and uh, you know to get six overalls this year and add a bonus as well. But um, you know, it, as I say, it hasn't sunk in, and uh, hopefully this is the start of bigger and better things. Next up for the WRC, it's back to Europe and it's back to black. We're off to France and tarmac. Sebastian Loeb will be looking to bounce back on his favourite surface, but can Ford do the double? You can catch all the preview footage for that and exclusive unseen footage from here in Australia on WRC.com. But for now, it's congratulations Mikko Hirvonen and Jarmo Leitonen and congratulations to the Ford team. Meanwhile, Peter Solberg takes his second podium of the year in third.
Australia has reignited this 2011 championship. The work starts here for Rally France. We'll see you there in a couple of weeks. But for now, from Coffs Coast, New South Wales, it's goodbye.